many call the original Death Valley. Clemson, South Carolina, where the crowd is rocking in anticipation of the showdown we have in store. Little gets the blood boiling, quite like a rivalry game. Barbs, shots, trash talk, things that go on throughout the week will now all be settled on this field. As we'll see, the number 11 team in the country, the Florida State Seminoles, taking on the 17th ranked team in the land, the Clemson Tigers. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. And the Knowles will kick it away first. He'll bring it out. It's Haynes. Pulled down at the 18, and the decision to bring it out of the end zone was not a good one. Here comes the offense on first down. Back to pass, it's Klubnik. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. One of the things I love about this offense is they're very versatile in their passing attack. They throw to receivers and tight ends, and the screen game is big as well. This guy is a weapon, you're seeing that here early. Got it behind the line, it's Mafa. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. And a really nice job by the defense winning second down. I think the quarterback thought he could dump this off, maybe get some positive yards, set up a good third down. The defense did a great job responding and getting that running back on the ground. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. The Tigers come to the line with a new set of downs. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Ripping off a pretty good chunk of yardage. They've got it out to the 41 with the first down. It was a really nice play there. The thing I like about this guy, too, his versatility. He's not just good running the ball, but he can catch and he can block. And you think about all the greats they've had at the position in recent years. Versatility at the running back position. Being an every down back. That's exactly what this guy embodies. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Dialing up a second down pass play. Trying to burn this defensive back. Already toast the coverage, got it deep downfield. Just what they were looking for, a huge explosive play in there inside the 15 at the 13 yard line. They got him wobbling after that big play now to pay it off on first and 10 from inside the 15. They're in the red zone and they'll pass it. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. And that's your goal, separate man from ball. Try to get your shoulder in there on the catch point and really make, give him something to think about. Physically jar that football and knock it out. Nice job on the defender. Well, it looked like that might be the first touchdown of the game, but what a great job by the defender, seeing the football and swatting it away. They love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. The receivers often will run their route based on the side adjustment. Looking to the end zone. And he's got it! Touchdown, Tigers! Well, you know this offensive coordinator scripts his opening 10, 15 plays, and he didn't even need that. They went nine plays and scored a touchdown. Everything working perfectly. They look like a well-oiled machine early this game. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. They go 83 yards on the drive, and they finish it by firing one in from the 13 for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Fair catch called for and made. from the shotgun. Makes a man miss. 
Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. They'll try the right side. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. I'll tell you, this defensive end, not only can he pass rush, but he can play the run as well. You see him beat the offensive lineman there trying to block him and get in the backfield to make that tackle for loss. That was impressive. Incomplete. He had to get rid of it before he wanted to. The defense put the heat on. And the Seminoles decide to punt it away. They'll get him down at the 21-yard line. The coverage team able to stop him right there. Clemson has their paws on it, and they'll send out the offense. How about that last drive? Just carved him up in the air, David. Yeah, and how about that quarterback? You gave him the ball, and he delivered the goods. Great job taking apart the defense, Jesse, on that last drive. He really did, David. I mean, that was a master class in just reading coverage and being accurate. Sometimes it's not about a fancy play design. It's about just getting in the ball and letting him play. Especially nowadays with running backs being so good out of the backfield. You know they're going to catch it, and there's so many ways to use them. But exactly, get it to him, let him break tackles, let him make plays. Easy decision. And here we go. If you're an offense, you've got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance. And then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. Yeah, exactly. And then coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, somehow, at least establish a semblance of a running game for exactly what you just said. You've got to be able to use play-action pass later in this game to get some explosive plays down the field. And it's a play like that that we just saw, which can help them get that going. We'll get this quarter going with a second down play. Motion from the offense. To the air, it's Klubnik. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. Looking for a huge play. And it was worth the gamble, but the long pass is incomplete. Defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent's side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Everybody, they dug their heel on the ground. They're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. That is coverage just the way you draw it up. Don't even let him get started, and they knock him down deep in his own end. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. He's looking to throw. That's caught. It's Douglas. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. The roar of the crowd trying to fuel this defense to keep them pinned in their own end. They'll throw on third and short. Quickly to the tight end. Gets away from one, finds room. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting to his professional. Last time these two got together, it was a tight one, Jesse. Seems like every time these two teams play, the game just feels faster, right? Because it is a rivalry game. There's just a greater sense of urgency when we see these teams match up. Yeah, the fans feel it. They know it. There's so much to it. They think about it all year long. When you're talking about the next game on the schedule. They're always looking forward to this one. Ball's at the 27. This offense facing a third and long. Through the air. It's Uyunglele. Fires to the tight end. 
And with that effort, they pick up a fresh set of downs. They have it at the 34-yard line. It's not a great feeling on defense, too. When you're blitzing, you're expecting to get a sack. You're expecting to get a hit on the quarterback. If the offensive line and running backs pick it up, uh-oh, because now you have one less guy in the back end trying to cover all these receivers and tight ends, and you know you're in trouble. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. Well, this defense felt coming into the game that if he was going to try to throw from the pocket, they could get to him and affect his accuracy, and they did on that last play. They'll throw again after the incompletion. Unloads it left. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Back to the air one more time. Caught over the middle. It's Morlock. They got him free for a big gainer to the 43. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup. He went for it. He attacked it. Got the positive game. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. Looking for a crease. It's Tua Feely. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this D tackle. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last play. And the offense about to dial up its 10th play of this drive. On second down, he's looking downfield. They'll run the screen. Nice move to stay on his feet. And they knock him down, but he got past the line to gain. Running backs just have to be a weapon in the passing game, even for little dump-offs and checkdowns. Yeah, find your matchups. I mean, you think about running back versus a linebacker. We like that matchup in space, and so find ways to get the football to your running back in space where you can break tackles and make things happen because they're just so dynamic. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. And how about the work up front by that big defensive line? Great job at contained by this defense. And in order to do that, the end man on the line of scrimmage defensively has got to be able to set the point and force the football back into traffic. Touchdown, no! And they made it to the house when they found that six points waiting on them. Yeah, and the passing game comes through, man, and we need more of that in the second half. An extra point away from tying this football game. We trailed a little bit in the first half, stayed calm. If this passing game can continue to heat up, look out in the second half. And he knocks the extra point through the uprights. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. He'll call for the fair catch here. Clemson ready to dial up some ball plays. They've got it on offense. And that last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And, and I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Got it in the middle. It's Moore. And he gets it up to the 36. It'll be a first down. That was a nice pickup running the drag route and finding that quiet, soft spot in the zone. Yeah, drag routes not only work against man coverage, they work against zone, too. If you can find the soft spot and the quarterback gets it to him early, he can turn that field. You saw that right there. Comes in as quick to the line. He'll come out throwing on first down. Going to take a shot at this DB. And he makes the catch inside the 10. Works his way to the four-yard line, and they'll have it first and goal. On the doorstep of cashing it in for the offense. They'll use the running game on first and goal. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. Quick tempo, no huddle offense. Second down, clock's running. On the run, it's Klubnik. 
flushed out of the pocket. He steps and powers and works his way, and they finally get him down at the two. Apparently some confusion as the offense calls the timeout as their first of the half. And they've been able to get within two yards. Now will they try to throw it in for the score? And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Tiger! And that's exactly what you want from your offense. Man, late in the half, you want to execute and then punch it in physically on the ground, take the lead going into the half, take all the momentum. Nice execution of the drive by that offense. The AT unit on the field. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. 76 yards on the drive for the touchdown and finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. It bounds through the back of the end zone. It'll be a touchback. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. Last incompletion leaves them still sitting at their own 25 with second and 10. He's looking to throw. Sends it downfield. Intercepted. I love when people start to understand what we're doing defensively. If they're going to pass the football and that's where they're going to live, well, I'm going to live and die. I'm going to bring more defensive backs on the field so I can cover more of these speed guys that they have out there. Great job by the defensive back, breaking on the football, making the INT, making the DC look very small. Well, they're trying to attack the middle of the field. That time, the ball a little too high for his wide receiver, and it falls incomplete. And back to the air on second down. Catch in the middle. It's Mafa. And he found all kinds of room and got it down to the 28. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. He's going to pass. Fires to the wide out. Working on the right. Gets out of bounds after the big play, and they'll be set up in business for the first and goal. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. Quarterback checking off. Looking downfield, it's Klubnik. Let's it fly! Pulls it in in the end zone! Touchdown, Clemson! And I, and I love this offense, man. Staying aggressive. Just because you got the lead, you know people can score points in bunches. This offense keeps the foot on the accelerator, scores again on the final play. Now this offense has even more of a cushion going into halftime. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. And that'll bring us to the end of the first half as we head to the studio for halftime. Clemson will kick this deep to get the second half underway. The returner will field it and try to get some field position. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. Maybe adjustments or attitude or attitude adjustments, but they've got to find a way to run the ball at least some here in the second half. I do think you said something that's important. I think running the football is an attitude. Like, it starts with the offensive lineman and being physical, having a nasty attitude, running back, same thing. I think they need more of that in the second half. You know, and I think if any of you're this defense, you have an opportunity to make a statement here. Yeah, I know you guys went in at halftime and you riled yourselves up and you told yourself that you think you can run the ball on us. On this very first drive, we're going to prove to you, just like in the first 30 minutes, you cannot. Much of this Seminole foundation was built around great quarterback play, some legends at that position. Some awesome guys that spread it around to elite playmakers and 
It's just a great history at Florida State. They've been up and down in their recent history, but this team back in the day, man, dope was rocking. Everybody wanted to be a Florida State center. He'll pull it down. Able to get just a few before sliding to avoid the hit. I love when you boot athletic quarterbacks and you boot him to the left right here outside the pocket. Does a great job. He can attack down the field or he can take off and run. It's kind of a pass run option, especially when you have a guy that dynamic at the quarterback spot. Throws to the wideout. He's got an open man. He'll be brought down at the three yard line. An explosive play in the passing game has him on the doorstep. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, and now the defense is really on its heels. Got it! And he will score! Touchdown, Seminole! Oh, the offense shows some life here and cuts into the lead with that score. And, man, they needed it. They had to have something to go right. This is still down. This is a great start to getting back in this ballgame. And the kick is good, but there is a penalty flag because he paid for making that kick. I think they're going to get him for roughing the kicker. The kickoff team out there to boot it away and 15 yards farther up the field after the roughing the kicker penalty. First down here for the offense. He'll keep it himself. Gets it past the marker. At the 45 on his way. Big, big gain on that one as he steps out of bounds with a first down. Here's his offense with a fresh set of downs. He'll do it himself. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Nice job by the defense there, getting a stop on the quarterback behind the line of scrimmage. We know they've been burned a few times early in this game by the QB run, but we weren't going to let it happen there. On the move, it's Klubnik setting up the screen. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. Well, a nice gainer on that running back screen. How about the offensive line getting downfield and getting blocks to really help out the back, find some space to go to work? Works the middle. And he goes down after making the grab. Picks up a few, but still short of the first down. And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal. He's going to reach for a long one, a 52-yard attempt. And the try is no good. And the margin is still seven after the miss, guys. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Paul. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. On second down, wants to throw. Got his man down the middle. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when you start getting those long yarded situations. And he got enough for the first down, but somebody put the hit stick upside his head. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Connection to the right. They get him down, and that'll be the final play of the third period. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. He wants to throw. Unloads to the wideout. And that one's incomplete. Sometimes a quarterback just needs to turn the ball loose. It was like he tried to guide that one in, and it disrupted the timing. Yeah, and, and just like in basketball, when, when you shoot a shot, you, you start trying to aim it, you really, really miss. You know, quarterbacks, they got to quickly be able to recognize, do I need to fire it? Do I, do I need to put a little air underneath it? And 
and it's just a tough thing for a quarterback to be able to do. But over time, you see they have less and less mishaps like that. In search of that tying touchdown, they've moved the chains a couple of times. It's first and ten again. Fires to the wideout. Makes the grab. And he will score. Touchdown, Florida State. Like a Thanksgiving turkey. They're just being carved. No shot. They have no idea how to get in this quarterback's head. He's on fire. Everything he's doing is working defensively. We gotta figure something out. We gotta try to do something a little bit different. Bring more pressure. At this rate, shoot, he's on so much fire, he might as well just send everybody. Blitz everybody, live with the results, because everything else ain't working anyway. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Clemson has their paws on it. They'll send out the offense. On the ground, it's Mafa. Makes his man miss. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they get it out to the 36. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdowns. Looking to throw, it's Klubnik. Throws to the wideout. He got his hands on it, but couldn't hold on to it. And what a time that would have been for their first pick of the game. And that's why these guys played defense. If that were an offensive player or receiver, that would have easily have been a catch. Come on, man. You've got to catch that and make that a pick. Now the quarterback changing the original play call. They'll snap it from the gun on third down. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You got to be able to make that play. A tie game here late, and they do not want to give up this football. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Can't find his man. It'll be incomplete, and that is a heartbreaker this late in the game. Timeout called by the defense. It's their first of the half as they'll go to the sideline and try to make adjustments. On first down, here comes this offense. He's looking to throw it. Got it in the middle. It's Benson. Touchdown, no! They've got the lead here in the fourth. He is dialed in. David, remember when we called Jameis Winston's debut? 27 passes, not one hit the ground. The two incompletions were caught out of bounds. This guy's locked in like that. Locked in, dialed in. And, and when you're compared to Jameis Winston, and by the way, I mean, he was in fuego that night. It was awesome to be there. Those are the kind of guys that catapult you to the next level and bring Florida State back. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. Clemson ready to dial up some ball plays. They've got it on offense. What a turn that last drive was. Didn't pick up the fourth down, and it led to the scoring drive, David. And those are frustrating because you think you might get points and then your defense gives up points. This has got to be a complimentary football type deal. The offense now needs to provide a little spark and give this defense some hope. No doubt, David. They got to turn the page and they've got to play with a little bit more urgency here, knowing they've got to get that one back and put a good drive together. They bring him down and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You see, this is what great defenses do. Great defenses swarm to the football. So. When you do miss a tackle, it's not the end of the world. There's another guy right there to wrap him up. Great defenses seem like they got 12 guys on the field. Nice job swarming to the football, engulfing the running back. Grabbed in the middle, it's Brown. And they'll get it to the 39-yard line, and they'll move the chain. 
There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins the football. Nice run there to keep things moving before they force him out of bounds. And I think this is important for this defense. This will be a big key in the football game. Like, I got to limit the damage from that guy. Because that, that's a QB that's dynamic, and, and he can make so many big plays. I got to string him out. I got to make him get to the sideline. But I will say this. I do want to hit him at the end of the road. I don't want to let him out of bounds. You let him get free carries. I want it to be physical. Big drive for this offense late. Trying to tie the game. They pieced together a couple of first downs, and here they come again. To the air, it's Klubnik. He lets one fly deep, and the ball is picked off. A return there would have just been icing on the cake. They'll just have to settle for the cake at the 23. Some defensive players just have a knack. I've played with guys throughout the course of my career that you can't coach it. It's not speed, it's not strength, it's literally, I know when to break on the football, how to go get it, and how to pull it in. It's just a knack. Finds his way ahead for five, and now they've got it at the 28. And I like the first thought process right here. Run the football. We want to run that clock with the lead. Thank you to the defense for forcing that turnover, setting us up. Now if we can put a few first downs together, we're looking really good. Off the play fake. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. From the gun, he'll try to throw for it on third. And it's picked off. That's the turnover they desperately needed. No real chance on the return, but they've got it at the 34. Let's go. This is how you make it interesting. Your defense has to come through, has to make the big play, and they do. Clock running out, you get the ball back to your offense. Way to force the issue, create the interception. Clemson okay, right. has their paws on it, and they'll send out the offense. These are the games. These are the moments. This is the opportunity for the finish that people remember in rivalries like this one. And those highlights that are shown for years and years to come. These big-time moments, Palmer, coming down to the wire, who steps up and makes the big-time play. And this is why you lift the weights in the offseason. This is why you do all the gassers and all the sprints. For moments like this, game on the line in one of the biggest games of the year. Good timing on the quick out. They get it down to the seven on that pass play in prime position for a score. When we see another catch by this guy, this defense is going to need to do a better job of tackling the catch. In coverage, I know they want to slap the ball away, but if you can't do it and force the incompletion, you've got to at least make sure you're able to drag him down to the ground as soon as he catches the ball. Quarterback now on the run, still looking. Defense like sharks after bunker fish, and they finally just ran him out of bounds for a loss. Okay, so the QB scramble went out of bounds. It counts as a sack because it's a loss on the play. You know what I did as a defensive lineman, guys? I chased him and tried to be the first one and the closest one near him. Because guess who gets the sack? Yep, that guy. Moving out to the right. execution that is how it's done late in the football game now all you need is that extra point bring the kicker out there this is what you do just like practice knock it through the uprights tie this football game when you might be looking at overtime so coming down the stretch in the fourth and we are all tied up about set to kick it away no return coming he'll call for the fair catch Here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. A pretty good bit of ground to cover here, Jesse, but they've got some time to work with. They do. So tempo is going to be important. you got to go fast. you just got to make good decisions at the quarterback position. And those good decisions are throwing the ball beyond the sticks, using the sidelines to get out of bounds, try to maximize this time, and get in a position to win. 
Well, you're making a positive out of a negative. And that time, quarterback, nice job, buying time. He's trying to throw the football downfield. Nothing there. So instead of throwing it away and getting the incomplete, just get what you can get and make this next down more manageable. Back to throw into Uyangalale. Just a bit of a misfire there as they can't make the connection. This really has been a master class by the quarterback with decision making, right? We've already seen him throw multiple touchdown passes in the game. He's understood when to take his shots and when to throw it away when things aren't there, like on that last play. Timeout called by the defense, and the clock is stopped with 18 seconds left. The Seminoles will punt it away on fourth down. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Might have thought he'd want to try to pick up a few yards there, but he's content with making the fair catch right around the 35-yard line. Running backs on either side of the quarterback. Trying to start the drive with a pass. That's caught. It's Haynes. And they pick up just a few on that completion. First play of the first possession of OT. The hand to the running back. Finds a little bit of room. Give him a couple down to the 23. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong. And I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up. And usually, they don't get in the midst of those big ones. Third down, and this crowd will pull out a vocal cord to help this defense. To the air, it's Uyanga Lale. And the third down pass is incomplete. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. Defense has its back against the wall as they try to extend this game and force another overtime. Gonna run it. It's Mafa. They stop him right on the edge of the red zone. A pickup of five to the 20. Man, you play this whole game back and forth, back and forth into overtime. Now you've got a chance to set the tone, run the football in overtime, and be a little physical. And if you can run the ball and not put it in jeopardy by throwing passes, uh, that's a great way to finish the deal. Third down, and they want to make sure their kicker has a chance to win it in overtime. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. Still on his feet. He rolls all the way down the five-yard line before they finally get him stopped. That has got to be demoralizing if you're on defense because they just ran the ball right up the middle, down your throat, and they gashed you. They'll run it on first and goal. He's in! A game-winning touchdown in overtime! And the offense continues to run the football. The second rushing touchdown from the running back. The offensive line, Pavin Holes, continue to feed this man the ball. My pulse rate is still through the roof on this game. I would have called that one for free. Wait, I don't want to get carried away there. But it was a really fun game and a great win. <laughs> it really was. I know we're all up here. We're bouncing around. We're excited after having seen what we just saw. What a great win for this team to go out and do it in overtime. That's the type of game that fans are going to be talking about for a long time. Today. Great game. Yeah, right. If you know Reese Davis, that is not happening. But we got a free game that was awesome. Back and forth, nip and tuck, and bonus time. You got some free overtime play in that one. 
That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollack, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.